Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is King of Apostles. Come, Come let us adore him. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, is King of, of the Apostles. apostles. Come, come, let us adore him. A mighty, a mighty God, God is the Lord, the great the King, King of all, of all gods. gods. In his, his hands are the depths of the earth. The, the heights of the mountains are him. To, to whom belongs the sea, for, for he made it. And the land is shaped by his hands. hands. The, the Lord is King, King of the Apostles. apostles. Come, let us adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. The Lord is King of the Apostles. Come, let us adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test. When they tried me, though they saw my work. The, the Lord is the King of Apostles. Come, come let us adore, adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. The Lord is the King, King of, of Apostles. apostles. Come, come, let us adore, adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is King, King of the Apostles. Apostles. Come, Come, let us adore him. O fathers of our ancient faith, with we all the heavens we sing your fame, whose sound went forth in all the earth, to tell of Christ and bless his name. You, you took, took the, the gospel, gospel to the poor, the, the word of God alight in you, which in our day is told again, that timeless word forever new. You, you told of God who died for us, and out of death triumphant rose, who gave the truth that made us free, and changeless through the ages goes. Like sparks among the straw you ran, to set the universe ablaze, to kindle the love of Christ the Lord and take his peace on all your ways. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, whose faith gift is faith that never dies, a light in darkness now until the day star in our hearts arise. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. This is, this is my commandment. commandment. Love, love one another as I, I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. O oh, all you works of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest, glorious, and praise forever. And you angels of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest, glory, and praise forever. And you, the heavens of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you, clouds of the sky, O oh bless the Lord. And you, all armies of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. 
And you, sun and moon, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, the stars of the heavens, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, showers and rain, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glorious and praise forever. And you, all your breezes and winds, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, fire and heat, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, cold and heat, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, showers and dew, O oh, bless the Lord. And you frost and cold, O oh, bless the Lord. And you frost and snow, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you night time and day, O oh, bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O oh, bless the Lord. And you lightning and clouds, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you mountains and hills, O oh bless the Lord. And you all plants of the air, O oh bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O oh bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O oh bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O oh bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glorious and praise forever. And you children of men, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O oh bless the Lord. Ananias, Azarias, Misael, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. Man, Man can, can have no greater love, love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you, says the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in your glory. Shout for joy and take their rest, and let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are, you are my friends, friends if you, you do, do what I command you, you says say. the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens in a foreign land, but fellow citizens with God's people, members of God's household, you are built upon the foundation laid by the apostles and prophets, and Christ Jesus himself is the foundation stone. In him the whole building is bound together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you too are being built with all the rest into a spiritual dwelling for God. You will make them rulers over all the land. You make them rulers over all the land. Your name, Lord, will be remembered. You will make them rulers over all the land. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You will make them rulers over all the land. The holy city of Jerusalem had twelve foundation stones, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The Lamb himself was the light of that city. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. 
He has raised up for us the mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, to forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Holy, Holy City, City of Jerusalem, Jerusalem had twelve foundation stones, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The Lamb himself was the light of that city. Since we have received from the apostles our heavenly inheritance, let us thank our Father for all his blessings. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Praise to you, Lord God, for the gift of Christ's body and blood handed on by the apostles to give us strength and life. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For the table of your words served by the apostles to bring us light and joy. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For your holy church built on the apostles to make us all one body. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. For the washing of baptism and penance entrusted to the apostles to cleanse our heart from sin. Lord, the apostles sing your praises. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Lord and Father, strengthen us in that faith with which St. Bartholomew gave himself wholeheartedly to Christ your Son. Grant at his intercession that your Church may become the sacrament of salvation for all the nations of the earth. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Prayers for vocation to the priesthood in the Shrewsbury Diocese. Eternal, Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has brought us your word of truth the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood, for the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them to recognize the joy of giving the whole of their lives in love. Through Jesus, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Brian Simpson. And we celebrate the Feast of St. Bartholomew today. We will recite the Gloria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The angel came to speak to me and said, Come here and I will show you the bride that the Lamb has married. In the spirit he took me to the top of an enormous high mountain and showed me Jerusalem, the holy city, coming down from God out of heaven. It had all the radiant glory of God and glittered like some precious jewel of crystal clear diamond. The walls of it were of a great height and had twelve gates, and each of the twelve gates there was an angel, and over the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. On the east there were three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. City walls stood on twelve foundation stones, each one of which bore the name of the one of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your name, of your reign. Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. All your creatures thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. Your friends, friends O, o Lord, Lord, make known, known the, the glorious, glorious splendor of your reign. reign. They make known to me your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Your friends, O Lord, make, make known, known the glorious, glorious splendor, splendor of, of your, your reign. reign. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. Your friends, O Lord, make, make known, known the glorious, glorious splendor, splendor of your reign. We stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, the one about whom the apostles wrote. He is Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. From Nazareth, said Nathanael, Can anything good come from that place? Come and see, replied Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said to him, There is an Israelite who deserves a name, incapable of deceit. How do you know me? said Nathanael. Before Philip came to call you, said Jesus, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the son of God, you are the king of Israel. Jesus replied, You believe that just because I said I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. And then he added, I tell you more solemnly, you will see heaven laid open, and above the Son of Man, the angels of God ascending and descending, the gospel of the Lord. The name Bartholomew appears in the list of apostles but he's also identified as Nathanael, a man from Cana in Galilee. His encounter with Jesus is striking because of the deep faith he revealed, similar to Peter's and Martha's, in that he recognized that Jesus was the Christ. Jesus was impressed by his faith and said to Bartholomew, you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree, you will see greater things than that. But Ptolemy did indeed see great things. He was one of the first to witness the resurrection and was on the shore of the Sea of Tiberias after Christ's resurrection. He was one of the apostles for whom Christ cooked a fish breakfast. Bartholomew is remembered and venerated because, like Christ, he showed special courage in speaking the word of God with boldness before the people and their rulers. According to Roman martyrology, he preached in India and Armenia where he was martyred. Let us pray. Sustain us with the faith which made Bartholomew ever loyal to Christ. Let your church be the sign of salvation for all the nations of the world. Lord, hear us. And now, together with Mary, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so the angels and archangels with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, will sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take your blessings. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.